tomorrow is December 1st. It's so exciting. Here comes Christmas. Here comes white lights. This week I received a gift from someone in the mail, someone who follows I Pick Paint, and she actually had emailed me and said, hey, can I have your address? I'd like to send you something. It is Cookie Bokay, B-O-K-A-Y. Her name is Jan, and she sent me a tin of cookies in the mail. And Jan, I have to tell you, they arrived a day before I was having company last week. So I hid them because I knew my boys would devour them, and we just found them like a few days ago. All perfectly good. So my husband and I have been enjoying these, and now there's only three left, and they're great with cookies. So, I mean coffee. So Jan is over on the west side, but Cookie Bouquet. Love them, and thank you so much. That was very sweet of you sending that to me. My first one today is this book. You might have seen one of these before. I think Land's End put these out. This is actually years ago because there are 20 years in here, but it was basically like a Christmas journal. And I would fill it out like religiously every Christmas with pictures and menu and guests and who came to visit, what you did Christmas morning. That is a fantastic gift even for like a young couple just starting out because I actually used it and did it. And I love it because it's bright red. So it still sits on my bookcase because I like the color. Just an idea. This time of year, the other night, some of my up north friends are going to go, mm-hmm, wah, it got a little chilly. <laughs> and it does. I'm in northern Florida. I'm not in south Florida. The cozy bed. I was thinking how much I love a cozy bed. I hope you have a cozy bed. And I have a quilt on top of it year-round. I use flannel sheets year-round. Yes, you heard that right. Garnet Hill puts out a nice product. They're nice and thick. I know I think Lanson has good ones. I think JCPenney has ones that are really thick too, but I like the feel of them. So, and they're not hot. They just feel good. So that's what I use. And then because it was chilly the other night, I think in the forties, mm -hmm, I was looking all over for like those flat storage bags. I told you I got out of storage and I thought, where did I put the big King comforter? There's one you can get a King comforter in. Sure enough, I found it. Foo foo fluffed it up. This is like a microfiber one too. It's not even the feather one. And it's just the right weight. And I foof, foof on the bed, flat slice of heaven. Just saying, cozy. I should do a video about a cozy bed, making a cozy bed thing. I think it will. Um, I was at my desk last night. Actually, there's a bunch of swatches on the floor right here. And I have held this box out before. I probably never talked about the actual box. I keep swatches in here. But then I realized I had a ton of fabric in here too and it was just all mixed up. So I'm going to go get another one of these. This is Walmart. I try and avoid Walmart at all possible costs just because the lighting kills me. You know, people talk about other things about Walmart. I just hate the lighting. I think it's depressing and it's like a prison. Walmart. So if you're listening to that. These boxes though in the organization department or I think like the office. These are great in a, like I have an office closet. And you can just stack them. And it's just clean and neat and white. You can do that, do that with like little kids' crippy crap stuff. Put these in boxes. It's all good. Tip for the day. Use the great boxes. We, oh, there we go again. Uh. My husband and I were talking the other night about the fact that we have turned off the news. We can pull the news however we want, but we don't have it on. Rarely do we have it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I don't care what station is, I don't care whatever, it's just talking, talking, and just negative, and whatever. So I've talked about Leave It to Beaver before. You know it's a favorite of mine. And so whatever show you enjoy. But I was watching this, and I wanted to pull a clip and put it on my wall, but I can't find the clip. I can find the whole show, but I can't find the clip. Garage Painters. And it was Wally and Beaver telling their dad, please trust us. They just re read Tom Sawyer and please trust us. We can do the, we can paint the garage. And those two with paintbrushes and their friends stopping by and saying, I want to give it a shot. And Larry and Gilbert and all these fun. And the little Benji kid comes over, spills this green paint all over. I wish I could see that show in color because the can, paint can did say green paint. And there was like back in the day, that mossy green that everything was back in the day. 
not even avocado, it's more of a mossy green trim and stuff. I know, I could go on just because it was my show with the subject of paint and it was just hilarious. But the point about watching something like that and the sound in your home is so huge to what I'm talking about when I say love where you live. You know, this angry talk or crap shows, you know what I'm talking about, ladies or whoever likes them, I'm just saying all of us, that it's just like, and it just, it sets the tone for, ugh. you know, this time of year, Christmas, beautiful music, you know, Diana Krall Christmas, and there's stuff you can have, I talked about classical music one weekend, I think, just the tone that you can set in your house by kind of what you're hearing, too, I just... It was my husband that brought it up. He goes, you know, it's funny since we haven't watched the news. I just really feel like I just, you know, I'm like, right? It is a mood enhancer. I leave in the morning after. I can tape my little thing. I'm going on too long about this, but I leave better off. I'm telling you. So what goes in? Major. Um, and lastly, no, 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 not lastly. I just have two. Really quick, I was putting my front door uh, garland, and I'll do a thing on, on Christmas, like at your front door kind of thing. I was putting all this kind of cool stuff up, just my garland I usually put up and wrap it in white lights. I look up at my light fixtures. They were filthy. I'm talking like cobwebs in them. These are lanterns like three years ago. I mean, they're not like super old fixtures, but they looked terrible. And actually, one of the lights, there's two light bulbs in each, were burnt out brown. I'm like, I walk by this every single day. How did I not notice? Even at night, how did I not notice that? I took these things down. I cleaned them up. I put in new light fix or, uh, bulbs. They look brand new. Brand new. Free of charge. Brand new lanterns. Clean it up. You, who wants to watch? Everybody stands. Ding dong. You know, Merry Christmas. Big cobwebby thing. No. Clean up your light fixtures. It will change your life. No, it won't. But you know what I'm saying. All right, and here's my last one. I'm struggling with this a little bit. I kind of want some help or some advice. I have a new light or a washing machine, and I don't love it. I had the same one for, I think, 17 years, and it was used when I bought it. Just top loader, great machine, could take anything. This one is bigger, and, you know, but the button's on it, and I bought a really simple one, and I will tell you, it's a GE, and somebody on my personal wall said, don't do it. I would spend the money on a Speed Queen, which is like a few hundred dollars more. Like the old kind of laundromat almost washing machines. I should have done it. So now I feel like I'm stuck. And every single time I go in the laundry, which is a lot, you know, a lot of us do laundry a lot. I'm like, I'm standing there like it's an awkward date. I, I can't figure it. We don't quite get along. We don't quite click. So what do I do? And can I maybe call Best Buy or I don't know and just say, hey, it's been six months, but I'm not loving this. Or do I, you know, don't know what to do. But those of you who are speed queen lovers, or something, tell me that because um, I'm in a quandary. And we do laundry so often. And I do bedding and sheets and towels. And just like, I just, I gotta like it. So that is it. I don't even have a beauty product. Although I have to say, I'm loving that face wash, Kristen, that you said. That CeraVe or whatever. That SA, face wash SA. That's good stuff. Can't you tell? Just kidding. <laughs> Next week, I will be doing um, a thing on, on my Tuesday is going to be repurposing something you have. When I was doing stuff for outside, I almost sold something that I went, wait a second, I'm going to change it up. And by doing that, I saved myself $800. I sound like a Geico ad. Save, yeah, save money. Okay, so I'm going to help you with tips to think about things in your house that you might not like that you can use differently that you like. That is all. Otis thanks you too. I've read him all your comments. He's touched. You can tell. Have a fantastic weekend.